Okay, I thought I was all done disassembling this case, but uh, upon advice from a friend of mine on YouTube, Poem Ranger has given me some great tips. She's been through this and done this job already. Uh, she said that these, well, at least one of these uh, band lever apply pins that these ride on, right there, this is the rear one. Uh, these definitely need to come out, at least one of them does, the, this one at the back definitely does uh, because it's got o-rings on it so she gave me a great tip to get this pin out just take one of the valve body bolts and lightly screw it in and this thing should come right out now we may have something fall here but I'm gonna go ahead and set you down so you can see what I'm doing here hopefully and I'm gonna hold the lever with my other hand here so it doesn't go flying out and then I'm going to pull this thing hopefully is going to come out pretty easy it's got o-rings on it there we go warming out it's got one o-ring on it and then we're going to pull the lever out just like that so I'm going to put this all back together uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just doing uh, sub assemblies I'm getting my sub assemblies laid out on the table back there and actually probably gonna actually bag that up and the other one is gonna need to come out too because I'm going to change this is the uh, this band apply lever here uh, I guess this would be the kick down band lever and whoops okay hit something there anyway we got that one out the back here so i've got it for safekeeping where i'm gonna have that till i get ready to clean it and put a new o-ring on it and then we have the front the kick down band this is the apply lever here yeah normally you would have the servo and this would be resting against the servo and then you have a band up here a large front band and something to know about these apply levers is they have different ratios you know it's just basically geometry um, you know you've seen the you've seen a lot of you've probably seen the uh, diagram it shows somebody trying to move a heavy object with a piece of wood or something on a fulcrum and and you know it's it's kind of I guess you could say physics that uh, the longer your fulcrum, I mean the longer your, your lever, uh, the greater force you have on it. So it's kind of what the idea is with this. And, and uh, this is a, I looked on here and I may not be able to show you very clearly. Let me see here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you're going to have to kind of go upside down here with me. If you look on the side of this, there are we right there you see on the side of that there's a 3.2 stamped into that well that's uh just a really standard kick down band apply lever as far as uh it's uh i guess you could say it's clamping ability clampability but you can get these that are a little bit, I guess you could say, more high performance. Some of the higher performance transmissions, like in a big block, or 440, 426, stuff like that, used um, levers that applied this band harder. And uh, that band is that's used in second gear, so the quicker you can get that band on and off, the better your shifts are going to be. So I'm going to replace this 3.2 with a, they make one that's a 4.2 and a 5.0 ratio. So I'm going to replace this with a 4.2 that's sort of, it's better than this one, but it's not all out like the 5.0 is. So uh, we're going to get in and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out. This one's a little bit different because it has a quarter inch, I guess that's a quarter inch hex at the front this is in the bell housing so we're gonna need to turn that out and then all that should just slide right out so let me get busy doing that I don't have my tool in here I was using it for something else but I'll be right back 
All right, maybe you can see this okay. Just got my core wrench and my extension and broke this loose and this plug just turns out righty tighty lefty loosey. There you go. So now the lever It's got a hole back here in the back that should be able to help you push this up, but it's got also two little ridges here, so I'm just kind of pushing that with a screwdriver gently, and trying to grasp it with my fingers out here, and then at the same time, alright, there you go, this guy lifted just right off like this, you can see what we got here, I'm going to put that back on, I also put my thing there and I'm going to bag this up. Again, like I said, this is a 3.2, and you know it's not—it's not imperative that you replace this if you're just going back with a factory rebuild. But I like to do it just to go ahead and crisp the shifts up a little bit, which normally these things shift pretty good anyway. But anyway, again, thank you, Palm Ranger, for letting me know about that. I probably would have overlooked that, and I'm glad you t you mentioned that. And I surely appreciate all the help you've given me on this. So let's get ready to, I think we're now clear to clean this case up and we'll go through and uh, give everything an inspection to see what kind of shape things are in and we'll go from there. So hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm sure enjoying uh, doing this for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one. See you next time.